Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Beauty Passion, yes! Just got paid, Friday night, party jumping, feeling right. Yes, it's Friday, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great Friday, y'all. I cannot get this Krishan and blue face video out my head y'all i just can't get it out my head so i'm gonna react to it and this is the full interview that was posted well not the full interview the full interview is about an hour and something minutes um but this is just the part where it just all started going left in the interview um and i just really needed to get an understanding of what was going on so i found the part about what kicked it off on hollywood unlocked um and they pretty much posted segments of everything that led up to her being kicked out, Krishan being kicked out. So I'm going to react to that. Um, I was going to react to the whole interview, but it's just really long. It's like I said, an hour and something minutes. So uh, let's get started with this reaction video. But before I get started, I need you to like my video. I need you to like my video right now because you already know it's going to be great. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, who better? Who better? Ain't nobody better than Beauty Passion. Nobody. I'm on my way to 20K. I'm on my way to 20K. I'm on my way to 20K. If you have not subscribed, get me there, baby. I'm almost there. Let's go. Now, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I've been in my feelings about this interview because I like Rashawn. Um, I... I mean, blue face is okay, you know, uh, I ain't, you know, how can I say this? I, um, both of them have troubled passes, starting with their parents. So bringing two people together that has a troubled background, to be honest, be a recipe for disaster, like, it take a lot of healing, therapy, love, everything to make one of these kind of relationships work. They've been trying to make it work, but it's just something that always comes up with these with these these two people. And you know, to be honest, I wish their their relationship wasn't like this because you could truly see that they both love each other. But it's just so hard for them to just be in a loving safe space for more than a day or two to be honest so i don't know this interview really got me though because the way she is yelling out blue face name but i had to figure out what started it all so let me react to what led up to krishan being kicked out the interview let's go yeah, Okay, so for people that didn't know, Krishan and Blueface have a reality show on Zeus. About a week or two ago, I want to say, um, they had an episode where Krishan had hit Blueface in the head with a bottle or a glass or something, and he was bleeding. And she was trying to, like, stop the bleeding, even though she hit him. She was trying to, like, stop the bleeding. I guess she felt bad that she hit him with a glass in the head and he was bleeding. So... I didn't see the episode. Again, that's on Zeus. I didn't see it. I probably need to go watch the episode. But I really don't watch them as much because, you know, it's just a little too much sometimes. Because this interview is too much. So think about the, the reality show. So anywho, it, it went viral. They were all on Twitter talking about it back and forth about what happened. But in, in, in the, in the, um, on the episode, it don't really show what led up to that. It just show like him bleeding, him telling her to get out his car. And basically that's about it. You know, they going back and forth or whatever. She said he called her a bitch or whatever. 
she said, yeah, he called her a bitch or whatever. So it's like, okay, that must have was what led up to it. Okay. In this interview, he's there getting interviewed by this podcast called No Jumper. And in the interview, they're asking like what happened with the him with her hitting him on the head with a bottle. During this interview, Prashan said that she felt like she was being set up. And when they asked her what happened, she told them that he hit me first. So that was my response of hitting him back. But I just hit him with a glass. Blueface didn't like that she asked, she answered the question like that. Again, he um hmm he has a lot of things going on and he don't want to ever be seen. He don't want to ever be the one that's being the aggressor. Even though we know he can get physical with her because he got physical with her on camera outside the bowling alley. So we know he can get physical with her, but he don't want to out he in the media, he don't want it to come out that he hit her first. And that's what she said in the interview. When they asked that question about that, instead of her saying like, well, we were just arguing, I got mad at him and hit him with a glass bottle. She spoke up and said, "I that's not what happened. He got mad at me. Uh, he, she said, he got mad at me or whatever had happened and he hit me first. And that led me to hitting him with the glass bottle. Blueface didn't like her answer. So now he pretty much is telling her, like, why did you answer the question like that? Like, we on a we on a podcast. Don't sit up here and tell these people I hit you first. So he basically trying to cover up what Blueface, I mean, what Krishan is saying. Because this is the first time that it's coming out that he actually hit her first. He didn't like her answer. So this is what led up to the little argument that they having right now. I wish you knew that your response system means more than what somebody did first or second. Their response speaks for you. Okay, but I did. What happens first or second has nothing to do with you. Your response is what just throws you off the fucking you, So you see her saying, you see her defending herself. She's saying, listen, I didn't hit you first. So what that that's what remains. The truth remains that I still didn't hit you first. So she's doing what anybody would do. Well, not anybody. You know, sometimes these women, they take up for their man. We know that. So basically, Krishan didn't, maybe she didn't know that this, this question was coming. And she's just answering it truthfully. Don't say that I hit you first when I didn't hit you first. You actually hit me first. And that's what she keep repeating. Y'all saying I hit you first, but that ain't what happened. You hear them what they say, though. Did I say I hit you first? It's not even that. Did you I say hear what they first? said, though? Fuck what they said. Yeah, they fuck, wasn't there. About We're talking to them. We're talking about what exactly. Okay. So let's get the story straight. Okay. Instead of going, what you said is. <laughs> what they said. <laughs> fuck what they said. Fuck what they said. I'm saying, like, if they're saying what they're saying. Fuck what they're saying. Like, if we're saying fuck what they're saying, why are you saying what they're saying? Because we're interviewing with them. In, in, in. So he basically telling her. Whatever these people was asking you, don't answer the question like that. Like, forget what these people are saying. Don't put me out there to make it seem like I hit you first, which you, which she's saying you did. But he's upset at her answer. So he's basically saying, like, you, you need to know better. If these people asking you who hit who first, don't throw me under the bus. Forget what these people saying. It's between me and you. Don't throw me under the bus. That's what he's telling her. And you was agreeing mm -hmm. with the same niggas we right. saying fuck what they saying. What right. you saying? You hear what she's saying? She's saying the reason why I said that because you saying forget what they saying, but I'm saying you agreeing with them. So both of y'all are on both y'all on the same side. And it feel like y'all attacking me. Let me come out and defend myself. I'm not the one to hit you first. How I'm not making no sense. I'm not against you. I'm I'm here with you. I'm listening. Nobody against you. I am. Nobody's trying to get a jump with you. I'm against you. I'm against you. Stop playing with me. Okay, listen. The interviewer, before we get into his ass, he was all the way wrong. 
when you see Blueface and Krishan arguing and you see that it's going to another level, don't insert yourself as being an interviewer and, and try to insert it. You almost like an instigator. So you instigating this whole thing. Just sit back and let them argue and let them figure it out. But you feeling the fire by instigating what's going on between them. And his tone was too aggressive towards them or towards Krishan. His tone was too aggressive towards Krishan. You already see this is about to go to the next level. Like, be cool as the interviewer. You already see that she been drinking. He really fueled everything, to be honest. Listen, I might be against certain situations, but I'm not she against said, her per said, se. What are you playing Nobody for? Against what you playing for? Me. So, Please. it's sensitive. I think, I think I'm what you playing for? for? See, that's what I'm talking about. Why is he upset? First of all, and another thing, when Blueface seen that he couldn't talk her out and calm her down, he should have said Sharp. That's what they said his interviewer name is. I'm not familiar with these people. I don't watch their YouTube channel, their podcast. I don't listen to none of that stuff. But when Blueface seen that it was about to go to the left, he know how Krishan is. He been with Krishan for a while. You can tell when a person is about to turn up. He should have said, hold on. He should have stopped the interviewer, first of all. He should have checked his ass. Then he should have said, come on, let's step outside for a second. Then he should have said, listen, all I'm trying to tell you is don't incriminate me. Don't say that I hit you first. That's all I'm trying to say to you. In the corner, they could have had that because maybe they didn't know that question was going to be asked. Sometimes you don't know all the questions that they're going to ask you in an interview. So once they would have stepped down and said, listen, let's just let that go. You already said what you had to say. You okay? If Krishan couldn't calm down and couldn't come back to a peaceful level, Blueface should have stopped at the interview and left and rescheduled that interview for another day. Because you could tell right now this interview finna go all wrong. I think, I think I'm gonna finish interview. Okay. Hey, hey. What do you mean, do it by myself? Are you looking at me? Wait, this is what I'm saying. Fuck no, because you're being weird. This is what I'm saying. They're talking to me. Am I supposed to just be quiet? That's crazy. This so look, guys, quiet, I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. If you want to be quiet, I'll be quiet. When I talk short, my bitch going to shut the fuck up. Just man. First of all, blue face is all the way wrong for saying... When you tell, when I tell you to be quiet, you should just shut the fuck up. My bitch should shut the fuck up right there. If I was Krishan, I ain't even gonna lie. We would have been tearing that motherfucker set up. Because who the fuck you talking to? Real talk. We know they toxic. Let's just be honest. We know they toxic. But don't disrespect me in front of these people and tell me I need to be quiet when I tell you to be quiet. Like what kind of animal you think I am? And he was all the way wrong for going there when you already know she about to turn up. So you calling her a bitch. You telling her she should be quiet. It's just all the way wrong what he just said, period. And you can see like the lady interviewer, how uncomfortable she got when he said that. That was all the way wrong right there. That's weird, bro. Like, Usually when I talk, I'm used to a bitch shutting the fuck up. Let's talk about wow. dissecting it and then wow. picking her part of her truth. I cannot get past this. How you going to silence me? And these kind of men are the worst men. You want to silence her because she didn't say it. She didn't spoke up and defended herself. And then you going to tell her, bitch, shut up. Like, what? How you going to silence her? You right, Krishan. Speak your truth. Don't never let no... Listen, y'all. Listen. <laughs> don't never let no man silence you. I don't care how much you in love with him, how much you care about him. Don't never let no man silence you, especially when you speaking the truth. Now, had y'all talked about that, y'all agreed, agreed to that before we got in there? Okay. And at the end of the day, it's her truth. You hear her first. But don't tell me to be quiet. Like, you gonna silence me? Wow. And then you gonna say, any other bitch that I say, like, what? Krishan is good. She turned up. 
But she should have turned up on his ass right there, to be honest. Exactly. I feel it. This one right here, she just... And then the, the little instigating interview, man, talking about, yeah, I feel it. Boy, if you don't get your ass up out of here, both of their ass would have got cussed out. Both of their ass would have got cussed out. The interview is all the way out of pocket. Don't instigate nothing. You sit your ass over there. We are your guests. Don't instigate nothing. Especially nobody, nothing between Blueface and Krishan. Definitely don't instigate that. <laughs> This one right here, she talk to me, like, look at me, like, I'm right, I'm right here, <laughs> I'm fucking right here, I'm right here with you, stop playing with me with Sharp, I love you, you're just talking to Sharp and you're trying to like, isolate me from that conversation, I love Right there, when she started getting emotional and crying, interview is over with, <laughs> if you drinking, and, and, and a person started crying with the drinking, interview was over with. Because now they're, mix, they're mixing alcohol, mad, and emotions together. That's, that's the worst combination. This interview should have stopped right then and there when you seen her crying. And then she was mad because you and Sharp was having an interview to, but I mean, y'all was having conversation between y'all self and y'all kind of like kept her, act like she wasn't sitting right there. That's why she said, I'm sitting right here. I love you. I'm sorry. If you want me to be in a bitch you're talking about, or what you talking to Shark about? I'll be that bitch. You said, any other bitch. Like what? I'll be cool and I'll be quiet. I'll be cool. I'll be cool and I'll be quiet. Like I'll be cool. Then she started being submissive, which is usually what happens when a when a guy say that's a manipulative trait. When a guy said any other bit will do what I say. And then she started being submissive and saying, I'll be that one. No, you be who you was in the beginning. Defending yourself. Don't change. And this is what this is what women do. They change to please a man. I this is what Krishan did. She switched real quick. She was like, okay, I'll sit. First, she was taking taking up for herself. Then she turned around and said, I'll be submissive for you then. That's usually what women do for those type of men. They be submissive. But the really the reality of it, you were supposed to talk up like you did at first. Don't flip and be submissive because he feels some kind of way. So Nash Krishan is saying, okay, cool. I'll be submissive then for you then. If you want me to sit here and be quiet, I'll do that. Which is the wrong thing to do. You can be submissive, but not in this kind of situation. You don't be submissive. Why are you still talking? Because I'm talking to you. He's talking about He's telling her why she's still talking. I'm talking to you how I feel. So let's let's bring things out of your head like that. Rock, I have a question for you. We're trying to get some questions here, sweetie. For real, for real. He still too the the interviewer sharp whatever his name is. He's still too aggressive when he see these people are arguing and going through some stuff. He's still too aggressive towards this whole situation. So cute. I don't cool. look bad. I look like myself. Rock, I have a question for you. The fuck? They ask um, hard questions that nobody never asks. And this is how I'm answering them straight up. If you don't. So that tells you right there that they didn't know these questions that was going to be asked. She's saying, listen, they had they're asking hard questions that I've never been asked. So I'm answering the, the best way that I know how. I didn't know I was supposed to lie on that question and say, nah, you didn't hit me first. You didn't tell me that. You didn't you didn't coach me in the car and say if they asked you anything about that moment, not to say anything. So so Krishan saying you getting mad at me, but I didn't even know they was going to ask me that question. That's what she's saying to Blueface. I want to be with me and answer this. I'm with that. She said her asking some hard ass questions. I feel that shit. She said, hold on. Ask them questions. We're trying here, baby, but. Well, I have another hard question. 
Hello, babe. Why not? Hey, come on. Hey, I'm going to step out and let y'all do the new part. Okay, listen. It didn't went to level one. It didn't went to level two. Now we are looking at level three. Rock is starting to get physical with blue face. And we all know she can get physical with blue face when she gets to a certain point. She frustrated. She mad. He, 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 um... Is starting to ignore her. He's starting to close her out. She, nobody likes that. When, when we, when I'm trying to get through to you, and now you about to close me out. And and Rock don't know how to. Rock is the type type of person she don't know how to calm back down. Once she go past level two, it's over with. It's time for a fight. It ain't no, it ain't no turning back. So she's at level three. Where she's starting to get aggressive and physical with Blueface. Blueface is trying to calm her down and telling her, listen, don't rough me up. Don't grab me. So he's basically tell like telling her to get his get your hands off of me. Because he don't want to get in a physical altercation on this podcast and on his YouTube channel. So he basically telling her to like calm down. But now Blueface is getting, I mean, Krishan is getting too aggressive with him. So now, instead of him responding, he's basically getting up and trying to get away from her. Because he noticed once she put her hands on, it could go another way. Once she put her hands on him. So that's why they both stood up. He, he stood up trying to get away from her. Now that's what I do. I do say that what what Bruce Blueface said is right. Like, don't try to grab me and rough me up. I'm a man. At the end of the day, I'm a man. Like, don't try to tackle me, wrestle me, punch me, grab me up. Even though that's been a dy dynamics of their relationship, maybe he's feeling like he don't want to get in a physical altercation with her anymore because maybe it could be ruining a lot of stuff for him. They know they on these cameras. It, I feel he felt himself getting irritated and mad at her. Instead of retaliating on her, he got up, which what a man is supposed to do. And I'm just going to be honest. If he's, if he's trying to de-escalate the situation i commend him from that because maybe he's trying to change the narrative that has always been happening because he love her that don't mean that he always got to be physical with her i want her to just calm down and be cool i don't never want it to go into a physical altercation so that's why he got up and tried to walk away <laughs> Okay, at this point, Blueface is irritated. He's trying to de-escalate the situation. He pretty much walked her out the room. He's telling him not to let her back in the room because she too aggressive towards me. I'm starting to feel myself get angry. I don't want to get a physical altercation with her. Calm her down or kick her out. That's what he basically sat down and said. Hey, We got security with him. They're cool. Yeah, hey, please. Jay, fix her. Get the security quick. Get the, security. the J fixer is sending me up the roof. What do you mean, J fix her? <laughs> it was your responsibility to handle. Listen, let me tell y'all something. As a man that's supposed to be in love with Krishan, 
or just with me, just say as a man that's supposed to be in love with me. If you see that my mental isn't right or I'm drinking or I'm upset or I'm mad, take care of my mental first. So wait, 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 Sharp. Hold on. Let me let me go on and let's just talk talk for a second. Once we got around that corner and we talked and her mental still wasn't right, I would have told them, cut this interview. We going, we, we gonna have to cut this interview. However, it's gonna cost me to cut this interview. I don't know how it goes as far as contracts and stuff. But we're gonna have to reschedule this interview when she's in a better headspace. Cause right now she's not in a good headspace. She's crying. She already said at the beginning of the interview she was in moody and in an emotional state. So they shouldn't even have sat down and did this interview. When he when Blueface seen that Krishan wasn't in the right headspace, he was supposed to stop this interview and they were supposed to be on their way home. They were supposed to grab them some Mickey D's and went back to the crib. They never was supposed to continue on with the rest of this interview. This interview should have stopped it a long time ago. But this is what happened when things can go just all the way wrong. Nothing right here is showing that he's a good man. I'm just being honest. You got the security putting me out. You were supposed to stop this a long time ago. I know you frustrated or whatever. And I and, and Blueface know like at this point, if I go out there, it's about to be a fight. He know that. He know Krishan. He know if he go out there. It, she's at the point where she's ready to fight. So that's why he's staying in that room because he don't want to go in there. And I get that part. But I'm a you a good man? What? Interviewer, what? <laughs> we know you came with him, sweetie. But right now it's just time to isolate that. Be quiet, interviewer, because I'm getting real mad at your ass. A little bit, Josh. Everything under control? Everything good? Okay. We're fine. Is yeah. the mics going to pick that up, or can we? Are the mics going to pick that up, or can we finish? Um, no, you good, Blue. Sit down, Blue. You come sit down. So, Blueface is so concerned about finishing this interview, he ain't even he ain't even caring about her mental state. Or just stopping the interview and just leaving. Like, she can't leave without you anyway. Like, where's she going to go? I mean, I guess she could get in the Uber. Where's she going to go? Back to your house? Like, she came there with you. So, he's so worried about finishing this interview when he could have just said, you know what? Let's just stop this interview. You know, just forget it. You know? But again, he's trying to de-escalate the situation because he already know at this point... It's going to be a fight if I go out there. I get it, but it's like, it's just all bad. It's just all bad. At the end of the day, it's just all bad. I don't speak for you. Okay, so this part right here, he's, he now he's starting to escalate it even more by saying, I'm not going to talk up and tell these people to leave you alone. You said I don't speak for you. He He's referencing how the interview, some points in the interview went. He's going back to reference that. And at this point, he's he's making it he he's making the situation worse. To be honest. She gonna learn the hard way, George one day. Man, you, she actually got a good dude in her life. Cause I, I, a good I, I dude. Don't speak, I don't speak for you. I don't speak right, for you. Right. That's what you said the whole interview. I don't speak for you. So now you're cut like Bro, close the blinds. Bro, close the blinds. Take her outside if you got to. Bro, take her outside. No, I know you can't, but they can. Yeah, hey, can we please get her outside? Tiny, please, take her outside, bit, bro. please. So now that other people are trying to de-escalate the situation because they really don't want to take Krishan outside the building. They really want her just to calm down and so she can go in here and finish the interview, but she's not calming down. He's making it worse by saying he's not going to help her. It's just all a mess. It's just all a hot mess. 
At this point, it's just all a hot mess. Pick her up by her ankle. Tone, can you, Tone, can you please help, please? Can you please help assess the situation, please? He's saying you want to be a man because he, she was getting aggressive with him. And basically, he's saying you want to be a man. You want to be a man. And let's just be honest. Ugh. Men hate when you get into your, 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 uh, what is it called? Men hate when you get into your, oh, I can't think of the word. Men hate when you come out of your feminism and go into your mannerisms. <laughs> If that makes sense. Is it called mannerisms? I can't think of the word. But basically when you start acting like a man. You know sometimes when women get mad. They start acting like men. Not saying all women do that. But I know I when I get mad. I turn into a man too. Because that's just. It, it's just the trauma coming out of you. And you just get so mad. And it's just like. Men want you to always stay in your feminism. They don't like you to start acting like a man. And sometimes that's just how it comes out when certain women get mad. So he said you want to act like a man because she was trying to like grab him up and stuff. There ain't nobody trying to grab you, woman, ever like trying to, people trying to be respectful, you know? But if I do what I want to do, we ain't gonna let you know because you're not catching no cases. You're not doing any of that. That's not what we have you here for. And I, hey, I'm proud of you for sitting back and really just taking care of your business. Ah, uh, mm. the interviewer is really irritating me. He's saying all the wrong. Sh well, he th okay. <sighs> Okay, he calming down Blueface. I get it. He's trying to de-escalate the situation a little bit more too. He stopped in he stopped instigating. I I okay. Just nothing. She'll be at home later on. You'll still be able to talk and assess the situation. But right now, yeah, I just think it's best that it just she off that Hennessy, man. Take her outside. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk like all that's gonna do is add fuel to the fucking fire. No, no, kid. No. 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 Come here. He come here. He come here, bro. Hey, Sean kicked the shit out of that TV. <laughs> Krishan kicked the shit out of that TV, y'all. Damn, I'm glad that wasn't a person standing there. They would have got... She did the... uh. Hey, what's that? What's that uh? That game, Street Fighter? Raul? When Raul be jumping up and he do those three, 360 kicks? That's exactly how, how Krishan just did when she jumped up. When they, put, when they trying to lift her up and she seen that TV there, she kicked it. She did a Raul kick. Like, Raul! Raul, that is so funny. It's it's funny, but it ain't funny. But she kicked the shit out of that TV. I didn't even see. I don't think nobody even seen that. I didn't even know that was a TV. I thought that was just like a little stand or something. But then at the end, we know it's a TV because he asked him what the TV messed up. But she kicked the shit out of that TV, boy. She did. Hey, look, Krishan didn't leave without a fight, baby. You didn't leave without a fight. You mad at the whole interview? You mad at anything? You say, I'm going to tell this motherfucker set up then before I leave. I know that's right, Krishan. Okay, y'all. So that's the end of the Blueface and Krishan interview. Tell me how y'all felt, felt about this interview. Was he right to tell Krishan not to out him? Even though she didn't know how to answer the question because they didn't, he didn't coach her before they got there. Was he right? For telling her to shut up and all this other stuff. Even though she was just answering the question truthfully. Is Krishan not... Okay. I'm not saying neither one of them is right. Both of them are wrong. Because Krishan at the end of the day... Okay, how am I going to say this? I felt like Krishan got to know how to get her emotions intact. If she know that drinking... 
contributes to some of the things that she do and you want this day to be good, don't start drinking in this interview. But see, these podcast interviews, they always have drinks for you. I'm talking about they, they, they do it on purpose so they can get a reaction out of you. So these podcasts is, is a setup before you even get in there. Like, to be honest, certain people shouldn't even have no drink. We should be drinking orange juice and, 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 and just orange juice or water. But the fact that they have all this liquor is already a setup. Um, I think both of them is was wrong to be honest. Um, Blueface could have de-escalated it more. I feel like the interviewer was wrong. The only person that wasn't really wrong, I would say, was the woman interviewer because she pretty much sat there and was listening. She tried to get back to the interview. It didn't work. Um it just was a bad interview all the way around. Um, but I still feel like Blueface could have really controlled this narrative had he first checked the interviewer. I don't care who he is. And then he would have kind of, it, it, then if they would have had like a little second where they could go in the back and he could explain to her what he really was trying to explain to her without really explaining to her on camera. Because he really was trying to tell her, don't, don't throw me under the bus. Yeah, I know I hit you first, but don't say it. And then, then Rock response was, you didn't tell me that I was going to be asked this. So I don't know how to ask this. And I've been drinking. I just answered it truthfully. Um, I don't know. I just feel like... <sighs> I know they love each other. We all know they love each other. I just wish that... They can come to some kind of happy medium and they can come together and really figure out what a loving relationship is. Blissful, it's a lot less problems and they can still get money together, but with all the hate, toxic stuff that they do. It's kind of hard to look at them any other kind of way, to be honest. Because they've been like this since we've been introduced to them. So it's just kind of, I feel like in the in the media eyes, it's going to be hard for them to get to a loving space. Because they didn't start out that way. You know? <sighs> I don't know. Tell me how y'all feel about this interview in the comments below. Do you think it was Krishan's fault? Because Blueface went on his Twitter and said it was Krishan's fault because her men mental is not right. Like, basically, y'all be blaming it on the alcohol, but she mentally is not right. Okay, then if you know that, if you knew that her mental wasn't right doing this interview, you should have stopped this interview then. Again, that goes back to you taking care of her mental. If she, you know she's not in the right space. Or was Krishan all the way wrong in this, in this interview? Or was both of them wrong? Let me know how y'all feel in the comments below. I'm going to meet y'all down there. Let's go. Thank you all for watching. Hecky now, Joe. It's Beauty Passion, and I'm out.